Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to While the Iron is Hot, a blacksmithing RPG made by Bontemps Games and published by Humble Games, who were kind enough to reach out and sponsor this video. So I played a little bit to catch up to where I left off at the end of the demo so I could show off more of the game uh, and just, you know, showcase a deeper level of, of gameplay than just the first hour. Uh, so I guess, quick thing before we really get going, I'm going to start making some stuff. Uh, but a uh, quick premise of the game is that we are a prospective blacksmith who wanted to travel to uh, the land of Elian. There we go. I actually have it in my notes uh, to to uh, effectively follow in the footsteps of of blacksmiths of yore and kind of join their number as one of the more, uh, you know, one of the really talented ones. And this land has apparently had quite a lot of them over the years, uh, but they've since kind of died out, disappeared and gone away. Uh, something bad happened in this town in the past with one of the prior blacksmiths, and so everybody kind of abandoned it as cursed. And so our main character is here to revive it all. And we do that by making stuff. So every single recipe you see here uh, can be made using just like basic iron and wood. I think we will be getting more complicated things later on, uh, but right now this is it. So if I want to make nails, which I'm going to need to upgrade my... Uh, I'm going to need to upgrade my um, my house. Uh, we need to sharpen a bunch of these, but I'm very quickly going to make a chain so I can... Uh, so I don't accidentally use too many of my resources here. There we go. So I will, I will say if you caught my previous coverage, it's slightly different. Uh, there is a, a slightly longer... Let's see. Oh, did I only do one of these? Oops. Yep. It's slightly different from the... the. Uh, can I just do the whole stack? There we go. It's slightly different from what I played. Uh, I haven't fixed a bridge yet. I'm assuming that's coming at some point. Uh, but it's currently... Uh, I was instead asked to make a... Uh, I was instead make, asked to make like an ever-burning chandelier. Okay, can I go up to nine each? Yeah, it looks like I can. So just make a bunch of nails. I'm sure we're going to need them at some point. But, so, before going off to, to send that off, I noticed that I can actually uh, upgrade my house and improve it. And I don't currently have a storage chest inside my house, and so that's kind of a priority at the moment. Uh, so, other quick thing that I should probably mention is that while the Iron's Hot is now available, on a whole bunch of different platforms, so it's available on the, on Steam, including the Steam Steam Deck, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4 and 5, Xbox Game Pass, Xbox One, Series S, Series X, and the Windows 10 Store. And I said PlayStation 4 and 5, right? I think I did. Anyway, let's upgrade our house so it's not, like, completely crumbling on itself. We could also potentially... Oh, there goes our house. Rip. My bed was in there, and it's back again. Honestly, unironically, love that animation. Uh, but yeah, so eventually I'll be able to make stables, a gathering hut, a mage tower, a tavern, an adventurer quarters, and a lighthouse. And then many of them have upgrades. So for example, upgrading the forge to level 3 lets me skip the smithing minigames and more control over the hammer, probably while beating metal plates. Not useful at the moment, but still. So what else do we have? It is literally just make the, make the chandelier. So I guess let's go do that. Or go deliver that, pick up some more quests, and do some more smithing. So the game is split up into kind of three different sections. There's the actual smithing, talking to uh, smithing, uh, talking to people, and then exploration. I guess exploration is in two. There's an overall map that you can hop between, uh, like, different locations and interact with the resource nodes there. And also there's, like, secret locations you can open up and find things in. Uh, so, for example, there will be, like... Uh, a ruined building you can go in and find some resources. I'm sure we're gonna get there, but first, here's your everlasting chandelier. Splendid, yes, exquisite. Your reward will be installed in a few days. Goodbye. That was one weird order. By the way, I overheard Myrtle saying she'd like to talk to you. Well, you must have the ears of a bat. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm gonna go now. Thanks for the tip. All right, I thought this guy had a quest for me. Guess not. So the other thing I can do before we talk to Myrtle is I can pick up quests here. Uh, I'm not going to pick up the spatula or the fishing, fishing rod because I don't know how to make those. I might be able to guess, but I'm not that bold. Oh, he's got a quest for me. Oh, he just wants my iron axe. Yeah, take it.
Hey, Wabo. I was just looking for you. Could I steal a minute of your time? Sure, what can, what can I do for you? I've noticed the improvements in my village since your arrival. Lumber production and inspiration have been on the up. I have a feeling we could reopen, reopen our doors to trading with the other villages soon. The new tools are great, but more of our harvesting grove is upriver. We had a bridge built years ago for logging. Sadly, without a blacksmith, the bridge rusted and broke. I had no choice but to close off access to the bridge. I'd be happy to help and get that fixed for you. Where's the old bridge? Uh, it's northwest of this village. Here, I marked the location on your map. You'll have to make your way there through the trees. You should forge an axe and a knife before going. They're very useful tools to have when exploring the forest. I'm on my way then. Thanks for the tip. All right, so I'm going to have to go grab those. And we also are going to need to make three iron horseshoes and some knitting needles. So the reason why you want to do those is obviously it makes you money. And some of them give you extra resources. So, for example, money and logs, money and logs. Some give you blueprints, though. And that's what I'm really looking for. Anyway, let's go make horseshoes, knitting needles, and... Axe and a knife. Huh. I should probably go in here real quick. Yes, we do have a wardrobe. So I can put some things away. I'm just going to put away the stuff that isn't particularly useful to me. Uh, oh, can be gifted to your ox. I don't have one of those. Oh, wait, there might actually be combat in this. I have an iron spear and it's telling me it has durability. Well, that's kind of useful. Uh, let's see. Let's also put these away. I'm not going to be using them for much of anything yet. Uh, let's see. Other thing I should probably do is go into my inventory. If you notice, this one's red. That's because I goofed the crafting on it. And so I'm just going to throw it away instead. I don't need it. Because NPCs pay you better if it's perfect quality. And I have so much iron that there's no real reason for me not to just go for maximum quality all the time. So what do I need to make... I already know what I need for knitting needles. It's just too sharp and to strip. What do I need specifically if I want to make... Okay, so the knife is a sharpened plate. The axe is just a big sharpened plate. Horseshoes. Iron horseshoes. So we're going to need a lot of iron strips, curved, curved plates. Okay, so I'll just do like three of these. That should be good enough. Hang it. Hopefully that doesn't drop the quality. Time to find out. Yep, looks like it's fine. I think as long as you don't run out of resources. Let's see. Or as long as you don't run out of chances down there. Then you're golden. Okay, we want one of these. I'm curious about the whole getting the next level and having more control over my hammer. Uh, let's see. So once again, horseshoe required the curved plates. The knife. The knife requires one small sharpened plate. And yeah, if you've got two next to each other but one's disconnected, it'll actually delete the second one, which is kind of nice. Okay, so we want to sharpen this, and I think only this. Okay, so quick one is knife. Oh, I guess I'm, I am actually going to have to sharpen a couple of these to make the knitting needles. Alright, there's knife. Oh, okay, so we'll have to sharpen one of these, and only one of these. Because we only needed one one set of knitting needles, yeah? Yeah. We we have to sharpen this one. And yeah, every time I do this, it costs me energy. I'm not sure if multiple does. No. It costs the same amount of energy no matter how many you're actually working with. I kind of like that, actually. Oh, whoops. Did we just kind of perfectly time this out? I think we did. No spare resources are just going to be sitting in my inventory. Because, yeah, we had just enough with that one leftover to make the knitting needles. And then we have enough for the axe. I always hate it when you have, like, some extra scrap piece of a, an item left over. And it's just like, well, what do I do with this? 
And it just sits there until you find a use for it. Or you delete it, and then you find a use for it immediately afterwards. And you're like, ugh, what did I do? Anyway. I guess I do have three nails, but that's fine. I'm sure we'll always need more of those. So I've got 54 energy. Now, all things considered, let's just go back. Because I think it only takes 10 energy to go get over there. I'll see if I can... Oh, wait. The forest is probably an explorable area now. So I'm, I'm glad I stopped before the bridge. Because it turns out getting to the bridge is a little bit more involved than I thought. Okay, they want a hatchet and they want an adds. I think they just randomly generate more as we go along. Maybe it's every time we come back in. I don't know. Horseshoes to Willow. Maybe Willow ain't here. Odd. All right, whatever. Uh, I'm just going to go bed. I guess if I still have some energy left, we might as well make those next couple of orders and hope we find Willow in the morning. I almost kind of wish there was a fast travel sign. Maybe there will be. This game's actually pretty good about quality of life. So originally one of my complaints about this was batch crafting items and how frustrating that kind of was. And uh, I can just batch craft. So I need iron hatchet, ooh, which is going to give me those logs and the ads. So hatchet is easy. Hatchet is just a sharpened plate and one log rather than two. And then the ads is a curved plate. I've got plenty of energy. Okay. It was one of these. Bugger. Well, it's okay. Okay, grind this down. You can't sharpen multiple different things at a time. But, oops, nope. I don't know what happens when you sharpen a spear. Maybe it gets you some durability back? I frankly have no idea. Okay, so they should give us the ads. Which I don't actually know what those are used for. I, I truly don't know. And there's our hatchet. So there's a couple of orders to deliver. As we go along. But first, let's go to bed. I don't know if I'm near a level, but uh, the leveling system in this is actually one of my favorite features of the game. Uh, sleep until morning. I think I'm too far away. Yeah, I need 370 XP. Like, crafting all those items gets me a lot of EXP, but nah, not enough. Uh... Every time you level up, you get a choice of three random perks uh, in regards to smithing or, like, your energy. Uh, ooh, we got a couple of perks. These are temporary, but it seems like they kind of show up based on certain conditions, uh, which is actually really helpful. Why did I run all the way over here? I have no idea. Uh, so, for example, this one guarantees, guarantees, gives you, like, the highest quality crafts. Not no matter what, um, but as long as it's active, and as long as you don't make any mistakes, uh, which is kind of nice. I think there's there's three different qualities. There's perfect quality, there's bad quality, and then there's... I don't think I can make the skillet pan. What else do we have? There we do. Okay, she wanted the ads. Come back. I have the hatchet for you. Okay, so we still don't know where he is. And then he needs a pickaxe, and then he wants a hammer. I don't want to give up my current pickaxe yet. We kind of might need it in the forest. Oh, maybe I can actually just break this. Never mind. Oh, ox. Buddy. Oh, oh poor boy. Looks like you're stuck, buddy. Here, if I cut these, it should free you. 
Ooh. It worked. Hey, do you want to join me for a campfire? I got marshmallows. Ooh, ooh. Come on then. You're going to love them. I was going to ask where does a character keep his marshmallows, but uh, at some point you'll you'll probably see him pull a tool out of his apron pocket and it's just this giant stretchy thing and terror and also is terrifying. It's nice to have some company. I'm grateful for Driston and the Lumberjacks, but I'll be honest, ever since I left home I've been feeling kind of lonely. Ooh? I'll have to see if I can make a name for myself as a blacksmith to become a master. It's my passion. I couldn't grow by staying in my hometown. Ooh. No, I can't say I've ever tried grass chewing, but I'm glad you found your passion too. Hey buddy, I was thinking, how about you join us in stall? Ooh. Awesome, I'll make sure you have a nice place to stay. You can make your way to the village in the morning, I'll see you there. And it was never seen again. Is there anything to do in here? Nope. Oh, and that just counts as a completely new day. Oh well. Let's take a look at this. This is probably where Willow is, yep. Hey, here's your horseshoes. Okay. Hey, what are you doing here? Myrtle told me to install this equipment for you to make things more easily. It wasn't much fun dragging it here, I'll say. Thank you. It's really convenient. It's going to save me a lot of time. Indeed. I was also ordered to give you these. Wood and ore I gathered personally for this job. Awesome. I'll get the brid bridge fixed in no time. One more thing. I've been tinkering during my free time and I came up with designs for some tools. No one's been able to make much use of it, but a as a blacksmith, maybe it'll serve you well. Thank you. To repair the bridge, all you need to do is fix the two holes, but watch your step, it's dangerous. Alright, so let's take a look at what's in my inventory. So I've got blueprint for a hinge. Easy enough. Screw and bolts. And then iron buckler shield. So there might actually be combat in this game. Huh. Okay, so for starters, all I need is a chain. Well, that's easy enough. Let's just make, like, a bunch of these. Because I think we're just genuinely going to need them. So... I might as well just have a ton on hand. Okay. Next up. Oh, wait, no. All we need is the chain right now. Because we learned how to make hinges and stuff. But I don't actually know if we need them. I think he just gave us the blueprints for quest prog or quest progress, story progress. Yeah, so you know those three nails that I just had sitting around for no reason? Sick. Alright, so screws and bolts, chains, four iron plates. So let's start with the iron plates and then figure out what we need. Well, actually, let's figure out what I need for the screws and bolts. Ah, oh, curved plates. Okay. So I need four of these. I wonder why we get so many extra chances. I know I gave, gave myself one extra. No, I don't know. Uh, I gave myself one extra for leveling up, which is nice. Oh, can I actually make these? No, it just tells me about them. Okay, screws and bolts need curved plates, and we need... So we need eight curved plates. There we go. And then four here. Oops. And this should give me a bunch of screws and bolts. Screws and bolts. I think it was a chain, right? I don't know. I'm going to make another chain. I've already forgotten what I actually needed to make. But also, it doesn't matter that much. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. No matter what, I'm going to need a chain for something someday. Actually, I made one too many screws and bolts. You know what? That's fine. Hello. Oh, oh Willow got replaced with her. Hey, Wapo, this looks perfect. Great, you'll definitely be able to use it to restart your logging activities. Yes, and you'll be able to go north and explore more of Elian. That's a good idea. We sent something to stall for you. A gesture of our gratitude for your help. Go back to your place and check it uh, check it out before you venture further. I'm sure it'll be of great help in Elian's, uh, for Elian's new blacksmith. Thank you so much. I'll go now. All right. Uh, you know what? Actually, while we're here, journal. 
I need to make a pickaxe and an iron hammer. Oh, can I actually just pick both of them? I wonder what happens if I pin it. Well, okay. So pickaxe requires two of these. There's part of the reason why I don't like making them. Because it's a little bit of a pain. Not a huge one. And then a hammer is just one of these. At some point, I'm going to have to get some more iron and wood. I can gather it myself or I can buy it for like five of pop. Which is not the worst idea either. Okay, so we want to sharpen both of these. There we go. I've been playing a lot of games with... I don't want to say, like, reflex mini games exactly lately. Uh, effectively, gameplay where you're not just, like, pressing the make the pickaxe button or just hit the enemy button, but there's some level of, like, hey, this actually requires some level of input from the player. I kind of like it. I'm also sleepy. <laughs> it's one of those, I think, where having automation and progression just slowly phase you out of the need to do it. Uh, I think that goes a long way, and so this one does actually just slowly phase it out so you don't need to anymore. Anyway. Hello, sir. Sir, I have your pickaxe. Now, I've got two. Both are equal quality, so here's the pickaxe. What else have we got? Sewing needles. Yeah, still can't make anything. She doesn't sell any blueprints. We'll have to find somebody that can do that. Oh, did a character want knitting needles? They did. I'm a oof. Ah, right, whatever. Uh, I'm going home anyway, so I'll go. I'll go make some knitting needles there. I think it's a cart for the ox. I think that's that's my general assumption. Well, I can't talk to the old man. Can I do anything here? Well, we can make stables. I'm going to need nails and hinges. Unlocks the cart, allowing you to set up camp in order to rest or forge on the go. Oh, oh, that's big. Okay, well, we got a letter. Letter from Opal. Trusted friend of mine has sent word of, of a rising blacksmith on Elian. Your skills have sparked my interest. Come to my camp in the foot of... Malima's snowy fields. There we can discuss more about your future on our land. On our land. No. Well. Two hinges, six nails. There we go. Hey, hey, Wabo. Looks like you made a new friend. We should fix up the building to the right of the forge so that our ox friend can find a place to rest. That's a good idea. Myrtle also said something about the gift. She had sent here. Oh, yes, it's the cart right next to the house I mentioned. I told Ash to just leave it there. I also wanted to talk to you about a letter I just received. It's from someone named Opal. Wow, Opal's already taking an interest in you. My friend, he must see how good you are. What do you say in his letter? Not much. Wants me to go meet him in... Malima? That's the miner's village. Usually no one has access to it besides them. To reach it, you'll have to go to their camp west of the Misty Valley. Here, let me mark it on your map. Wow, that's pretty far. It is, but with your new ox and that gift from Myrtle, we can build you something that will make traveling easier. Some sort of mobile forge, you know? Huh, not really, but I'm intrigued to see. What do we need to build it? Uh, I'm already a step ahead of you. I've figured it out and made a list of on the design table in front of the house. My plan is to fix up the cart in the same time we rebuild the stables for our ox. That's a good idea, thank you. I'll go check it out now. So I need six nails, two hinges. And I got plenty of energy to spend here. Okay. Uh, I guess first and foremost, I've got a couple of these. I'm just going to make some more. Like, you really cannot go wrong by having just a ton of those. And to some degree, if we ever get, like, a really consistent source of iron, I might go out of my way to do it. Uh, I guess first and foremost, what do I need for a hinge? Hinge. Hinge requires... Sharp an iron strip between, and then two of the little doodads in the center. Actually, this is really easy. Okay. And then we want to sharpen 
So two for the knitting needles. Yeah, let's just do we sharpen eight. Oh, but the nails. Okay. So two for the nails, two for the needles, and then two for the nails are uh, two for the nails, four for the hinges total, and then a set of nails might make three at a time. So I'm going to need four, seven, probably ten. I think just ten. Okay. Let's start with the easiest. Oops. This should give us six nails. It did not. Okay, so we're going to have to come back for more. Uh, there we go. Well, we can just go sharpen. I need four more. We'll have to sharpen 12. That's not too bad. I was hoping a set of nails would give me like three at a time or something, but alas. At least grinding is like super easy. I find hammering is my least favorite of the mini games just because uh, you have to wait. Whereas for this one, it's just a matter of like very quick. Well, I mean, this one's easy. Just line it up. And the grinding is just a, a very quick, like not even a reflex test. To call it a reflex test, I think, would be wildly overestimating its impact or demand. This man never sleeps, by the way. All right, fix up the stables. What's the next one? Fluffy pancakes, but otherwise actually easy. Adds an extra chest to your camp. Useful. Oh, I forgot to tell you something important about your trip to go meet Opal. Before you reach the valley, you're going to have to go through a real nasty area. Oh. Past the bridge I fixed for the lumberjacks? Yep, it's a really tricky place to travel, especially for someone who just arrived in Elian. Take care and remember, Elian has its secrets. Not all are friendly. Good idea. Thanks for the tip. Make sure you pay attention to where you step in that swamp. Sometimes the ground can just swallow you. I've got a theory that it's haunted, but no one believes me. I'll pay attention. Thanks again. Uh, we might have to care more about this. Let's go see about our, our ox, ox buddy. Say hi. Ooh. Okay, so we also have a mobile forge upgrade. Oh, but I need a traveling gear. Yeah, camp with a better bed to wake up with more energy. Uh, let's see, so we already have the mobile forge. Lantern pole. Floating hull. Travel through shallow waters. Visibility at night. Salvage resources from shipwrecks. Diving bell. Whoa. And travel on snowy terrain. Okay. Can I just go? Okay, hold the interaction button and set up camp. This will allow you to forge items on the go. Okay, I guess quick thing is I do have the knitting needles and everything else has been properly deployed. Yeah, luckily nobody sleeps around here. I could go back to actually get the resting bonus from... Oh, he just follows me. Oh, look at that flappy tail. Right, here's your knitting needles. These people go through them really quick. Okay, hammer, pickaxe, axe. I'm just going to pick as many of these as I can. Because, honestly, why not? Oh, it even follows me around like big cute dog. He wanted my big axe. I should probably actually just give him the bad one. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, so the last one is make a hammer. Let's go out. Let's set up um let's set up the forge. Oh, I see. So it actually just packs it up there. Well, that's fine. Oh, that's what's going on. 
Ooh, iron greatsword. It's worth a lot. I'm gonna put the letter away. Okay. So these are... This is the assembly. Forge, everything. Wow, it really is all just here. Uh, so first and foremost, I guess we want to make two of these. Because I need to remake my... Remake my pickaxe. And I think also my axe. I gave away, like, all of my tools. Oh, I should have made a second one of these. Shoot. Because we need one for the axe and we need one for the hammer. Be interesting if we could actually build, like, a storefront at some point. And start selling some of these wholesale rather than specifically by request. Not that it matters too much. Alright. So now... I'll definitely have to chop some trees uh, sooner than later. I might do it away from town though so, it's, so I don't just completely lumberjack the entire surrounding area. Because that always just feels a little weird to me. Okay. And then axe. And yeah, we'll have to get some more. I think we can also get the better logs just in town. Or whatever these like swamp glow logs. Which I might also be able to harvest. I don't know. I don't think it specifically matters to me if I buy it or not. We have so much money just by making everything good. Okay, so first and foremost, we have more. Yet, yeah, I am so glad you don't have to wait for those. You don't have to do them either, but from my perspective. I might as well. So she actually wanted... One of my spare pickaxes, too. Cool. Uh, let's see. Yes. No, these are mine? These are mine. So she doesn't sell any more swamp glows. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna spend a hundred just to get a bunch of logs so I don't have to go looking for them. I mean, I know I can ch chop them myself, but let me be a little lazy. Okay, well, let's go to bed. Because I could do more, but it's getting pretty late, and if I want my character to sleep at all tonight... We should just sleep. There's our level. Okay, so increase the time you have to react during the grindstone minigame. Five points in your maximum en energy, or... 5% of the price where merchants buy your items. Oh. Rather than a request, I can just sell my items. Okay, so I don't really care about the grindstone minigame. I'm pretty good at that. The extra energy is tempting. I think I'm going to go for the sell price. It's unlikely that I'm ever going to get to the point where I can uh, sell just like oodles of things. But maybe I can. Uh, can I check? What is this? Is it J? Ah, character status. Items sold and orders delivered are worth 10% more. Oh, useful. I guess I could make some horseshoes. Gets me a blueprint. Yeah. I, on one hand, I want to make progress. On the other hand, uh, finances. And it's like blisteringly easy to produce these things. Oh, I actually do need more of these. I, like, truly, I think what I want to do is figure out what the maximum stack size is and just have that many of that specific piece. It might not even be a bad idea to do that with everything. Just say, like, hey, uh... I have just an infinite amount of iron strips, plates, and whatnot just ready to go. 
rather than remaking them over and over and over again. If I had the funds for that, I, I think I would go for it. So I, I, I'm assuming on a full playthrough. I'm just also not sure how necessary it is because I bet the higher, uh, the further you go, the uh, less likely or less necessary that is. Oh, so we can now make the skillet and also the great sword. I probably could have figured out how to make the skillet, but I just, I don't know. I don't want to waste resources. So axe, hammer. Still don't know spatula. I think I know what it is, but I'm not going to waste my time on it. But let's, let's go actually do some things, especially if neither of these give me a blueprint. Yeah, they're just resources. We'll leave that for another day. Because I think you can, every time you come back, they effectively have new quests for you. So, like, if I really wanted to, I could spend a ton of time. I see. Ouch. Swamps eat energy, but it's fine. I don't think this... I don't know if this is the right direction. What is this thing? It's eerie looking. That's that's what it is. What? I just... I'm just taking it all for myself. Does nobody live here? Am I just a robber? A bizarro kleptomaniac? seem to be setting the table for a madman. Interesting. Well, let me... Oh. It's prop maybe how I move something. of shoes. And Labra. Oh, I see. That's how I go. Up and down. Yeah, so I think we're setting the table. For, like, a really unhinged party. Okay, so I can assemble stuff here. Okay, we put all the shoes in. Looks like we have to find a little bit more. Let's push this. There we go. Okay. Oh, there's like a weird wooden man. That's what we're kind of sort of doing. I think we're rebuilding him. Grab the shoes. Yeah, we can, in fact. I am slightly bewildered. Okay, there, there that goes. Let's see, I think. Yeah, we can't we can't do the shoes yet. We're not done. up and around. I I adore the fact that this is a thing. I am also so confused. Okay, move this here. I wonder if I can use this to leap over to the bed. Yes, I can. Oh, the bear is also one. Got it. Chest. Oh. 
Quick swap. Steel arrows, Mr. Wood, Candelabra, Swamp... Oh. That's why we need the assembly. Okay, is there anything else? The teddy bear. So now we just got to go make Mr. Wood. And then what? I have no idea. Like, 50-50 chance I'm getting cursed as hell as a result of this, but why not? What else am I going to do? So I think we have enough... We have enough shoes. I don't know what that did. Oh, wait. Oh, we got a giant thing of red heels. Apparently. Okay, Mr. Wood is now complete. I think we just do these three. Okay, there's the handles. What the shoes are for. was a green thing. Was there not? Or am I done? I can't interact with it anymore. Oh, red heels can be gifted to your ox. Green tablecloth. What? I might have missed something. There might also be something in the um, like bathtub down here. Oh. Oh, it needs the chair. There's the hint. The chair just needs to be pushed over to it. And then we're good. Definitely kind of one of the more <laughs> baffling things I've done in this game, but I'm glad that it's here. Just from a, this was wonky and weird, and a nice change of pace. What was that? I just heard a noise coming from downstairs. There we go. I don't know what the green tablecloth is for then. I won't. The, the exploration layer on this had way more thought and effort put into it than I expected. Woo! Ha <laughs> Whoa, are you floating? Why, yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Sorry, this is my first time meeting a ghost. I'm not quite sure what to do. You're just in time for dinner. Please do come in. Oh, no, thank you. I'm really just passing through. It's a dinner party with friends. Are you not a friend? Only friends can be in my swamp. I'm a friend. <laughs> to be honest, this whole situation is a bit of a shock for me. <laughs> I'm not even sure if this is real. Good, because we're having lasagna. I know it's lasagna. I just like saying lasagna. There's only one way to prove if you're a friend. Are you ready? First question. Getting my, uh, getting my beauty sleep is important to me. What is my beauty sleep secret? Uh, nine mattresses for ultimate comfort. Second question. What does a toot love to collect? Red shoes. You have a lot for someone who doesn't need to walk. Last question. Who's my bestest best friend? Teddy bear. Yahoo! I'm so glad we cleared that up. I knew deep down you were my friend from the start. Seeing as we're friends and friends do each other favors, can you help me put my red shoes back in their spots? My friends and I were trying them all on, but forgot to put them back. And I'm sorry about before, you can never be too careful. I've unlocked the door upstairs so you can leave safely, but don't be a stranger. I... I think I already got his shoes. Oh, it's doing the laundry. Well. 
I can put shoes on my ox. <laughs> I don't know how to process this. Let's do it. Okay. I wonder if doing this also makes it so the swamp is easier to, tra tra easier to traverse. My assumption is a big fat no. Who dis? 100! Okay. I'm just gonna say, let's ignore him for now. These more bandits? Do you wish to enter this location? Not overwhelmingly. Now this guy, oh, sells stuff. I'll just buy whatever. At some point, we'll need to get rid of those. Wait, what is this? What has happened? I have just entered this bizarro land where everything is just a thing. So, screws and bolts. Huh. Okay, so I need four nails, two vertical iron plates, and more bolts. Two bolts, vertical plates, and four nails. Let's see if I remember. And like I said, the exploration layer is completely... A surprise. Like, I knew there was an overworld. I knew I'd be going around. I just didn't realize it would be this sub substantiated. Okay, so we want... Well, I guess let's start with the obvious. Make four of these. Is it two? It's two. I'm gonna make four anyway, just in case. I hate having to come back because I missed something. Okay, next order of business. If I want to make screws and bolts, we need curved strips and the sing singleton plates. I think we need eight of them, too. Though it might be one of those that making any amount of screws and bolts actually makes me like a stack of them. But I don't trust it, just like I don't trust nails. I'm just going to make a bunch more of these. Luckily, we're going to look for the uh, mining village very soon. That should give me all that I need and then some. Okay, so we want to do... 12. There we go. Yeah, I think it only makes one per. Yep. Okay, that should be good enough. We should probably... Oh, we should clear some things out of my inventory. Let's see. So first and foremost, chest. Move over the green tablecloth. And the flower can be made to uh, use to make a bouquet. Move that over. All right. Where's my where's my bull? Or bull ox? There you are. F. Give present. Shoes. Moo. Oh, it's really damn cute. Uh, let's see. Is that everything? I think that's I think that's everything we possibly need. So let's go fix up the ensemble band. Good thing I bought that wire. I... Is that it? Does nothing else happen? 
Honestly, I kind of wish these these sweet instruments would just come hang out in the camp. On one hand, it's weird to not get a reward for that. On the flip side, cool. Like, why the heck not, you know? Okay, let's, let's enter and let's rest. I'm going to look around a little bit more. We did considerably less blacksmithing and con considerably more other things today in a way that I was not expecting. Not to say that it's a bad thing in the slightest. Oh, I didn't do enough mini games, so we didn't actually get the uh, the bonus. That's fine. Okay, let's pack up. Let's look around. Because we do have those bandits. Second ox? Hey, bud, are you, what are you doing behind that tree? Ooh. Oh, I see. Yes, she seems very nice. You should say hi. Ooh. How about you go and give her some flowers? Ooh. Huh, yeah, you're right. Your hands makes that difficult. I can make a bouquet if you want. Ooh. Slow down. All right, so I need a snowbell, a pansy, a misty morning glory. Do, do they all grow in the region? Ooh. All right, I'll find them. Make a bouquet and bring it back. Uh. <laughs> well, we already have one of them. Oh, right. I should absorb that coin purse. But yeah, I suppose wooing the other bull is going to take some time. Can I not? Oh, I guess they're they're completely tapped. And we found the blacksmithing village finally. Or not blacksmithing, the uh the mining village. I think. Hey, do you need help? I doubt you'd be able to help me. I want to propose to my boyfriend, but no one makes a proper engagement ring anymore. Ever since the last blacksmith. It's been just old spoons bent around rust uh, bent around a rusty pipe. I need something that will express the magnitude of my everlasting love. A spoon won't cut it. Congratulations, love is a beautiful thing. Maybe I can help you out. I'm a blacksmith after all. No way! If you forge a ring that fits this gemstone, I'll be forever grateful. The proper ring, he'll say for yes for sure. What's your name, by the way? My name's Wabo. I'll be right back with your engagement ring. I don't know if I know how to make an engagement ring. Oh, well. Hey, and they also sell ore for me and a mechanical heart. Oh, and they also sell screws and bolts and nails and stuff. That's kind of useful. What else do they got, dog? Hi, bud. Woof. Oh, yeah, who's a good boy? Woof. Milo. Okay, oh, they don't have a request board, but they do have a sweet dwarf here. Hi, what are you looking at? I'm looking at the water, trying to prepare myself for my next plunge. What do you mean? I love fully immersing myself in extremely cold water and staying there for as long as I can. It clears your mind, it rejuvenates your body. That sounds interesting, can I try it? Perhaps. What's your name? Wabo. Huh, good name. Wabo, I'm Boulder, go ahead and try. The goal is to stay in the longest. Am I just supposed to drown? I don't really know what his record is. Oh boy. You really can't let up on that. This would be easier if I was using a controller. Uh, what are you gonna, 30 seconds. Come, 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 come. Uh, 32, that's not bad. 32.22 uh, seconds. You're good at this. Here, you earned it. A flower? A really pretty flower I picked high up in the mountains. Great prize. It really is pretty. Thank you. Ah, come back for a plunge whenever you want. Every time you do, I'll give you, uh, do well. I'll give you a reward. If you impress me, I'll offer you something that would be extremely useful to you. Sounds interesting. How will I know if I do good? I'll tell you when you come out. I'm the expert after all. Haha. <laughs> well, we got the flower at the very least. This was, none of this was what I was expecting. Wait, who the heck am I supposed to talk to here? All right, I don't know. I I thought we'd be coming here. Did we find it? Business opportunity. Talk to the guard. Talk to the guard about Opal. Oh, maybe it's the guard there. All right, let's hold this and see see about making a ring at the very least. What's required for it? Engagement ring. So he gave me... Okay, I think we can actually do this. Go 
Because we have the steel. Oops. Okay. So, aha! We just want to make two of these. I'm just going to make sure I'm doing the right thing. I mean, it should be, yeah? Yeah. There's the ring. All right. And let's go back out and turn this in. I really like this. It's super charming. And yeah, I was not expecting the world to be as big or as varied as it ended up being. I'm curious to see where it all goes. Let's see, is this... Okay, let's let's give the engagement ring first. Here you go. Should I get down on one knee? <laughs> just kidding. My eyes, it's a work of art. Oh, I can't wait. It's going to be a magical moment. See you later, Smith. I've got a proposal to plan. Good luck. My, my precious. Okay. Hi, sir. I'm looking for someone named Opal. You're looking for Opal? Good luck with that. What do you mean? Opal's our leader. His place is high up in the mountain. He won't come down here for the likes of you. Rude. How do I go see him then? He sent the lift in the mountain is the only way up and has no plan to come down. But he sent me this let. Listen, if it were to come down, you're not going up on it. Only miners are allowed to take it. Just give up. Sir, ma'am. Ah, Ruby has the guard duty going. Splendidly, sir, but I've been pushing back this new commoner who claims he wants to see you. Oh. I suspected you to arrive today, Mr. Smith. That's why I was coming down, to wait for you. Such perfect timing. That chandelier you made for Feldspar is very impressive. I saw a glimpse of legendary work in your craft. Thank you. It was quite the challenge, but I'm happy with how it turned out. Yes, happy, but hopefully not content. Here in Malima, we never settle. We always strive to be better and have... Uh, to have the best. And that's why we have a common goal. I want... want uh, I hear you want to become a master, and I want masterfully crafted goods. I can offer you financial security. I'll fund your endeavors and help you rebuild stall. That's very generous, but what's the catch? The catch? No tricks here. All I ask is that you earn this by proving you're the best blacksmith. I won't give you the job based on mere gossip. And how could I pr prove it to you? I've called on tradition and organized the rebirth of the artisan's gauntlet. What's that? There's an ancient tradition here on Elian, a way to prove your skill through a series of challenges in hopes of achieving masterhood. You'll have to travel the island and visit every village. There you'll have to complete a test de designed specifically for you. If you succeed, you'll receive the village's token. Bring them all to me and I'll, you'll have proven your worth. I'll fund your creative endeavors on Elian and you'll become the chief of Stall, and all will be well. Alright, I'm in. Good, since you've already helped Myrtle. Your first task should be to seek Peregrine. He's the hunter's village chief. To find him, you'll need to reach Vox, east of here. Thanks for the amazing opportunity. I won't disappoint you. I wish for that. Good luck, Smith. Can I go up the lift? No. I wanted to go up the lift so I could go mining. Alright, whatever. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm actually kind of glad I skipped ahead. Usually I feel a little weird. <laughs> I feel a little weird about my ox with the, the shoes. Um, usually I feel weird about skipping ahead for a video, but I think it actually gave a better picture of what this game really is. Uh, some amount of smithing, some amount of exploration, a lot of questing, and uh, sweet pixel art too. I I dig this. It's a very complete package that ex that defies expectations, and for that I very much am looking forward to playing more of this at some point when my schedule allows. For now, I'm just gonna kind of wander the uh, wander around a little bit, looking for things. Uh, I'm assuming that merchant probably resets its inventory every once in a while, but I'd like to find a place where I could go mining for steel consistently. Uh, do I not? Oh, I do. I absolutely have an axe. Usually a dead tree is a good sign that there's something nearby that I can go into. Hmm. I get the distinct feeling. I'm not supposed to go in here. I wonder why. Anyway, uh, so I guess to repeat what I said at the very beginning of this video, uh, is that while the iron is hot is, uh, oh, steel pickaxe, iron pickaxe. Let's just use the steel. It's just a common one. And it looks like I'm getting plenty of steel by doing this. Uh, so while the Iron Hot is, is hot is available on uh, 
every platform and then some. So Steam, Steam Deck, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4 and 5, Xbox Game Pass, Xbox One, Series S, X, and Windows 10 Store. Uh, so very much pick whatever your preferred platform is and it is available. I'd recommend it if you like kind of an odd duck RPG. Uh, it's, yeah, once again, Defy's Expectation is a completely different flavor from what I'm normally used to. But I think that makes it kind of good in a way. In a lot of ways? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Let's chop some trees, too. Because I'm going to need some more wood, too. It looks like this whole area is actually kind of extensive. Who are you? Hey, you need... Uh, I need some help, please. Sure, kid. What can I do for you? My siblings wanted to play a game of hide-and-seek, but they're way too good at this. I can't lose my title as best seeker. Oh, they don't stand a chance. I was best seeker when I was your age. Perfect. This is your mission. Three siblings stay in the eastern rains. Don't tell anyone I needed help. Huh. Like I said, completely defies all expectations. Like, this is hardly what I was expecting when I loaded this up. Hey, there's the fluffy pancakes I needed. And also some other stuff for reasons. Uh, let's see. Oh, that looks like a sibling. Found you. Aw, oh, seriously, who is this guy anyway? I wonder if I can actually chop some of these trees down. Oh, I absolutely can chop that one. I bet if I chop too much, though, it's going to mess with me. Is the answer. Okay, not that, though. A lot of ore. Got you. Aw. Okay, that looks to be very much a dead end. Oh, uh, that's probably one of the other kids that I already found. I think the last one might just be here. Better luck next time. Pfft, Bowie cheated. Okay, so that should be all of them. Thanks for finding them. I was beginning to worry. Told you, they never stood a chance. Here, take this as a thank you. That's a trick I came up with to travel at night without getting lost in the dark. Thank you. Birds of old. Oh, so we got the lantern scroll. Okay, so let's get out of this. Oh, you can actually see kind of the whole area too. Neat. Uh, so yeah, let's just rest for the night. Enter. I'll see what I need to upgrade my cart, but I think I'm going to stop. So anyway, I guess one last thank you to Bontemps. And Humble Games for sponsoring this video was very kind of you. And, I mean, as always, it was a ton of fun. Uh, this game caught me by complete surprise back when I played it. I just need some screws and some other stuff. Uh, it caught me by surprise when I played it during the uh, Next Fest. And I'm glad to say that it has caught me by surprise again, which not a lot of games catch me by surprise twice. Usually it's like a, a single-time deal. You know, where it's like, oh, yeah, this looks, you know, this... This doesn't really look like it's my flavor. And then it's, like, stupid good. If I do this, I can get extra uh, special logs. Because every one of those uh, minigame successes gives me an extra one. Which is nice. I don't. We don't really need that many, but still. Uh, but, what was I even going to say? I don't know. Not too much. Just gotta make some uh, screws and bolts. And then I will be on my way. So I got plenty of these. So all I need to do is go back to iron. Shoot. I need four bolts, correct? Yeah, four bolts. So I'm going to need eight of the singletons. I will end this video at some point. Uh, but I guess while I finish this off... If you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off. But for now, I guess I'm going to finish this up, and then I'll see you next time. No matches, what? What? No. No, did I mess it up? Uh, it's the curved ones. Oh, no. I really did mess it up. At least I've still got some more, but still. This video ain't over until I have a lamp. Figure out what the pancakes were for, too. But it's fine. Okay. There we go. 
And sloop them all together. Oh wow, I've got a lot of steel. I... I guess I could actually move on to making some steel items if we have any steel requests. Now what was the one that required the pancakes? None of these. So the pancakes must be something back home. Well, that's fine. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.